This week on Sizzling Away with Sammy Thiday is Broncos and Maroons rampaging ruck for Josh McGuire. McGuire, geez, went busy early. McGuire almost through, he'll score. Really has played well today. And what a run for McGuire out of the fight. Oh my goodness! Now Josh is going to be cooking me his favourite recipe, seafood chowder. A recipe that has been passed down for generations. So, let's go and see if he can actually cook. Hey, Sammy. Moose, how are you, mate? Good, mate. Just stop off and grab a couple of things. Nice, come on in, mate. Nice, mate, I like it. Well, what do we have here, mate? Yeah, uh, RLPA hooked me up this year with an uh, inflatable Josh McGuire doll. I think this doll actually has better tattoos than you, though. Probably, to be honest, probably. Pretty lifelike, I'm pretty much lifelike from the head down. Now talk me through this photo right here. Yeah, well that's Lockie's last game actually, so um, I just wanted to pick him up so that I knew I'd get in the photo. Is it true that you pushed the other players out of the way? No, I definitely, game? yeah, I pushed out a few guys. <laughs> Good work, part of history. Yeah. Let's get stuck into doing some cooking. I'm hungry, let's All do right. it. Now this is your first time trying to cook this. Yep. I'm gonna make a beautiful homemade bread oh, to go with this. So. Have you ever made I... bread before? No. All of Sammy's sizzlers. Get one of these awesome aprons, man. Oh, you shouldn't have, mate. Can you please talk me through uh, this photo right here? <laughs> and why'd you put why'd you put that front and center for, mate? You found that hiding in the corner, and you thought it was a good idea to bring it out here, and. Um, and put it on display, so. I well, didn't know how good you were with knives, so I got you a spork. Okay, thank you. Plus, right, and I'll need you to shuck um, some, scallops. The, some scallops, mate. So if you can get stuck into that. Well, the joke's on you. This is the perfect uh, shucking tool. That's so why I gave it to you. You can get shucked. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, what your career, mate? You've had a bit of a, an up and down career. It was a, a good year last year and a bad year all up in one, mate, so. Um, Lucky enough to get my Origin debut, which was another dream come true. You know, it was something I've always wanted to do, and um, I felt like I was having a good start of the year. And then um, torn by Achilles against Newcastle, which was uh, pretty devastating, mate. You know, I missed the, the third Origin, which is the greatest Origin win of all time. His fellows put a clinic on. No, I was there, it's alright. Yeah, so. You know, that was hard, mate. It's and on then, DVD if you want to watch yeah, it. I was actually on the sideline giving you guys on. Oh, were you? I got it in the photo, so that was nice. Were you there? Oh. And then, um, yeah, missed the grand final as well. So you were there for that one too, weren't you? Yeah, don't worry about that one. <laughs> We've forgotten that. We've moved yeah, on from We it. have. Mate, you've got the most nicknames. What? One human has ever had. I've had a few. The only reason I have so many nicknames is because you've started 90% of them. Well, that's what I do, mate. I'm a trendsetter. Well, I didn't start the big show. Where'd that come from? That was self appointed. No, no, that wasn't. Talk me through the moose. Where did the moose come from? Apparently, back in the day, there was a, a player at the Brisbane League named Moose McGuire, and then it kind of just fell in there. And then again, you lads thought it was a good idea to start using it. And then it kind of just stuck then. Hey, get behind me. It reminds me of a movie. I'm a bit sticky now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mate, um, your father. He's a very proud um, military man, uh, yep. just recently retired. I'm very proud of my old man. He was in the Army for, um, I think it was about 29 years. Um, been involved with Mates for Mates now, which is a, a close cause in my heart, because my dad did get out uh, due to uh, post-traumatic stress. You know, what, for what those uh, men and women do for our country, obviously, it's uh, something very close to my heart. And your mum, Samoan, Samoan heritage. Yeah. Um, represented. Um, you know, that side of the family, playing yeah. for Samoa, how was, how was that experience? Got the opportunity to go play for them in, in the Four Nations as well, which was, uh, you know, we did pretty good, I thought. With the magic of television. Da 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 da! Nice. Nice. Oh, how beautiful is that? That looks good, mate. That looks really good, doesn't it? Put this bad boy in there. Why? 
wife, uh, Tanessa, and yourself. You've been married for how long now? Uh, nearly this two is, years. This is coming up onto the second year. What nicknames does she call you? Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I'm going to add the fish in. And put that lid back on. Yeah, we'll let that sit for a bit, mate, I think. I thought, because chowder's a pretty casual dish, just keep it casual. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. If you could be any seafood, what would you be? Scallop. I'd be a shark. Yeah. <laughs> that is a pretty good one, eh? Yeah. What would you be a scallop for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's all right. Just give me a little bit, and then you just, yeah, stack your bowl. That's fine. What do you mean? That's the same. What do you mean? What is that? <laughs> no, you're right. All good. <laughs> oh, my bread. Whew. Steam coming out of there. A bit hot. You gotta be careful. Oh. Holy moly. What happened? <laughs> I told you I never made bread before, eh? <laughs> I may have stuffed it up. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, mate.